In our society, music is everywhere. You cannot go outside without hearing someone playing some song. You go to the grocery store, there's a song playing. You go to class, there's a song playing. You try to work out, there's a song playing. It doesn't matter where you go, music in today's society will always follow. You know, some days I wish I lived back in the society of records, because then it wouldn't be so weird when I told people that I don't listen to music. Because nowadays, <laughs> you wouldn't believe the looks I get. There's a bunch of memes online talking about if you don't listen to music when you're like working out, then you must be trading for revenge because those are the only people that don't listen to music when they work out. And I'm just, I'm just over here like, eh, you know, <laughs> it's just not my thing. And then, you know, people use music while studying and I can never focus when there's music while studying, so I don't do that either. And all of this boils down to the really weird thing that I don't really listen to music. I mean, sure, I pick up some of the pop songs based on, you know, all the times that I hear them blaring in various locations, but other than that, I, I don't, like, go into my room and, like, hop in some jazz or some musical numbers. So I just kind of sit here in the quiet, as weird as that might seem to pretty much everybody watching this, probably. Um, music and I just never connected. Well, I guess that's not exactly true. Um, when I was a young kid, my dad loved music, and he still does. He has these huge collections of music from like every era, except like the very recent one. And if you can name any song, that's like not 10 years young, <laughs> then he will have it and he'll be able to play it for you like that. And it's just really impressive. So as a little kid, I kind of took this for granted, I guess. Um, whenever my dad played music, I would listen to it and I was I, one of those dancing kids, like, you know, I would like do this little weird dance around and everyone would like laugh and, <laughs> but, yeah, I, I always had music when my dad had it playing, and when it wasn't playing, it was just kind of my way of knowing, like, oh yeah, I'm on my own. And that, for me, was okay. Like, music was always something that I kind of associated with being with my dad, and lack of music was more just more me time. So it became really odd when I got to middle school, and mostly high school, and the most popular question that everyone asks you, like, when, they're, when they first learn your name is, Oh, what's your favorite artist? <laughs> when I first got to high school, I still thought that when they said, What's your favorite artist? I thought they meant, like, Oh, yes, um, my, <laughs> you know, <laughs> that famous Renaissance painter Michelangelo. He's such a good artist. <laughs> Of course, they meant a music artist, and when they said that, I would always have to resort back to, oh, when I was young, I really liked um, Elvis Presley's Hound Dog, and, you know, you get a lot of, like, appreciation from that, because retro music is cool again, but it was always this kind of glaring hole for me, because whenever people would, you know, respond to their band back, I would hear things like, you know, 21 Pilots and um, Imagine Dragons. And while I heard, heard these, like, band names, it just didn't have, like, much of a connection for me. It got to the point that back when I played the viola and we played some pop songs, I did not even connect the dots that these were the songs that people had been telling me that they loved. And I can understand why people love these songs. They're songs with either meaningful lyrics or just really catchy, really like nice um, melodies. And I definitely understand the appeal. I still really love going to musicals and seeing the songs in musicals. It just, it's, it's so heartwarming because musical songs especially, they tell this great story. And it's just this fascinating experience. Um, but I don't listen to them in my free time, which I think a lot of people will find weird. And yes, I do do a, a lot of the other things that people do, like I watch YouTube or whatever. I, I, I am a normal human being, I swear to you. 
it, it's just this one thing that I don't do, and a lot of people find pretty darn weird. Um, and yeah, as I said, my dad loved music, so it wasn't because of like a lack of exposure or a lack of ability to get access to music. It was just really a lack of um, passion for it and a lack of wanting. But I can tell you that that lack of passion, oh boy, it raises so many questions. So at the risk of losing some of my most valued subscribers, some of the best people in the universe right now, to me at least, I, I just, I had to tell you the truth. Like, before we go on on this amazing journey that I guess I will take you on, going through all the ups, downs, and <laughs> prat falls of my life, we have to talk about, you know, the, the deep down, the stuff that's brushed under the rug and kind of forgotten. But, you know, it's those kinds of quirks that make a person a person. And so, yeah, I don't like music, or more should I say, I don't listen to music. I appreciate it. I really enjoy when I get to hear others' music and hear their appreciation of their music, but I will not seek music out on my own. And that does make me a weird person, which I am perfectly fine with, and I hope you all are too. So um, let me know your favorite bands or songs in the comments below. I can't promise you all know them, but I will go and check them out for at least one song because I do want to know um, something about our musical culture. Um, and, you know, let me know if you have any, like, weird quirks that just kind of set you aside from the normal population like I do. I'm sure we all have something that's a little bit bizarre. And, you know, that spices up life. That's what makes it really fun and really cool to learn about people. So... Thanks for watching and have a great day.